Hi everyone, JC here. Uh, nice to see you again, everyone. Uh, I've been very busy lately and just a lot of, lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, just very, very busy. I'm making this video today because basically I have a lot of tabs open in uh, one of the browsers. I'd like to close it very much, uh, but I don't want to bookmark the, the tabs, you see. So I just want to make this video, um, get it out there, and then, you know, I can finally refresh my browsers without closing stuff. Anyway, today's video, I'm going to talk about climate change a little bit. And this is because, well, a while ago, a few months ago or so, I finished uploading my course called Epic. And, you know, you can check it out in the YouTube. It's on my channel. It's completely free. Uh, and when I say that, it is completely free. It's on YouTube. Uh, there's no ads, uh, there's nothing, there's really no excuse not to watch it. It's a course that I designed, I designed it from scratch, and uh, I basically aimed to, 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 you know, make it not as a scientist, but as somebody who is, let's say, in tune with the science. Like, I read articles, I try to understand them, um... Uh, I, I, you know, I take online courses from time to time. Uh, I get very good results, I have to say. But I will say that I am not very familiar with, like, you know, every single aspect of, of climate change, of climatology in general. Uh, definitely when it comes to the math, I'm not really familiar with it too much. Uh but again, I wanted to, again, my course was to basically to build the foundation because you need to learn how to walk first before you run. So unfortunately now in society, it seems to me anyway, that we have the opposite problem is that people are trying to run before they can even walk. And uh, this, is, this is certainly true. And the more, the more I live, the more I, you know, I realize that it's not just some kind of, you know, ramblings of an old person. I'm not that old. I'm only 39. Uh, but I do see what's going on around me. And I do see how people are, you know, reacting to things or commenting on things, etc. Like it's, it's not an extraordinary claim. I, I see it every day. So I want to start with this graph first. And it's the Dunning-Kruger effect. And uh, basically, you can see that it, it has two axes, and the, the one is confidence, and the x-axis is competence. So it, basically, the, the way it goes is that if you have very low competence, if you're a noob, if you're a beginner, uh, very often what we see, though, is that the confidence of these people is sky high. Uh, you know, they're very confident idiots. And that's a problem in this world right now. Uh, it's a real problem because stupidity has become, uh, you know, what do you call that? It, it, it's become marketable. Like ev everybody markets stupidity. It's promoted everywhere. Um, it, it's, it's really all over us. And, and uh, the thing is like with TikToks, et cetera, uh, with people who do video dares, etc. It's basically always daring uh, to, to do something even more stupid, to do something more like stupider than the other person. And then for whatever reason, for money, for, for these, you know, 15 minutes of fame, uh, these people do that. Uh, and we see that all the time today. So then uh, in the curve, when you have a bit more knowledge, uh, you notice that your confidence like suddenly just sinks, like not, not to the very bottom, but pretty low. And, and this, is, this is a normal process. This is what should happen because maybe at first you thought you know something and your confidence is sky high, but then you realize that actually you don't know shit. So your, um, you know, your confidence takes a hit and that's not... That is not a bad thing, though. That's a good thing. Uh, that leads to personal growth, usually, and it's essential. Some people forego that completely, and, you know, they stay at the mount, uh, peak of Mount Stupid forever, and that's very sad. 
uh, that that's why with these type of people we basically see no progress whatsoever uh, so again when you start to gain more competence uh, you gain more and more confidence which you know again is logical really but definitely like if you're a, let's say if you're an expert in the field somewhere in some field uh you you know you probably have a lot of knowledge and because of that that knowledge and the key here is that it must be demonstrable evidence like you you must have the ability to demonstrate that what you calculated or you know whatever is actually true but this is very easy to do because in a math equation uh you know all you have to do is plug in the right numbers or find the x or whatever once you do find the numbers though you can prove it you you, you can demonstrate that that's the case and so because that's the, that's how it works then your confidence goes up so that's a normal thing uh next one is just a quote uh the fundamental cause of the trouble is that in the modern world the stupid and cocksure are cocksure while the intelligent are full of doubt again this goes back to the to the graph i just showed you this is this is exactly it and this is i think this is a huge huge problem in this world today that i don't think is addressed really we see like a lot of these you know kind of dumbasses on on like facebook comment sections or youtube comment sections and we basically because they never get engaged by in, intelligent people so they continue to swim in that ignorant uh, ocean of ignorance as i call it they never get out of it um so they're they're convinced in whatever they believe uh and it's ridiculous but but they believe in it and then they stay in that forever so so again this is just very true so why i'm saying all of this it's kind of a prelude to the main meat of the video which is uh which is this so on my last lecture lecture 15 of my course where i basically did a kind of conclusion right so i i uh, went back to the previous to all the previous episodes and i kind of gave a summary um uh, and i also provided some solutions in my opinion which are like you know effective solutions to combat the threats of climate change uh so again look i know this <laughs> this is not new to me uh look i know what i'm jumping into okay so there's a lot of climate change deniers out there there's a lot of people who are saying it's a hoax etc 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 especially it seems to me that they are in america but again this is not really surprising because in america uh you know bullshittery is the order of the day look we have so many like preachers and uh uh you know like ken ham fucking australian right i mean even he saw the the opportunity in the land of the gullible and so he came over to the states to, to start his fucking abomination in kentucky so look definitely people are taking advantage of gullible americans this is this is absolutely undeniable and i do think that americans unfortunately are very like a, a very gullible nation in general and and this is true in in pretty much all aspects i mean do, do you know for example that in the states there is no uh federal i mean uh there is no like holiday guaranteed by law so i know that a lot of people do get holiday they get like a week or two weeks or something like that but this is not mandated by the government this is mandated by your employer so be thankful to your employer that you have some days off because uh do you know how how many days the government guarantees it's a fucking joke it's a disgrace i mean like i think we are the only developed country in the in the world that doesn't guarantee um holiday days and that's just a travesty and it's a scam and pe you know, people in the states are absolutely being scammed i i totally agree with that uh, uh, assertion assumption so anyway 
So I was just, you know, releasing my course and bam, I get this one comment and it's, uh, oh shit, it's from Nick Schroeder. It's from Nick Schroeder. Oh, that's it. I'm screwed. That's it. I'm, I, I, I'm busted. I, I have to go away now forever, you know, hide in my closet or something. I'm done. But wait, wait a second. Who the fuck is Nick Schroeder? Now, that's the logical question that you actually have to ask. So be, when you get these type of comments from, you know, people on YouTube, etc., uh, the first question you should really ask before you feel, because look, I know that some comments are written and then we get triggered, we get upset, uh, we don't know what to answer sometimes and that makes us feel like we're losing the argument but the first thing the first question you should ask yourself really is who the hell is this person who the hell is this person like um is it somebody important so i checked the credentials that's the first thing i did and i'll show you in a second guys this is a fucking joke like i'm not even kidding anyway Look, this guy, so just to briefly go over this this comment, he gives you a bunch of math. And look, the thing is like, I'm sure that, you know, obviously he hasn't watched my entire course because if he had, he would know that in the beginning of the course, I said, I am not a scientist and I am not presenting this course as a scientist. I'm presenting this course as somebody who is, you know, alarmed, concerned by what's happening with climate change. That also means that implies, okay, that I am not going to discuss things like math because a lot of the math, again, because these days people don't know much. It's not just about math, but, you know, history, geography, whatever. They, they know this kind of, they, they learned some kind of one particular field and very narrow field, but they don't know anything really outside of it. So math is one of those things. Math is very complicated and it just, you know, goes over people's heads. So I know that that's why I on purpose did not include any math really in my course. I think there is just one equation in my 15 lectures. Uh, and even that equation is not a scientific equation. It's it's um, it's uh, like what you call it, like a physical geography equation, uh, human geography. Anyway, yeah, pretty easy to understand. No science. It's not. It's a basic formula. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Anyway, so again, I don't even have to answer this because again, I'm not really interested. This is this is beyond the scope of my course. So I don't, I'm not really interested in the comment anyway. So he gives a bunch of math, uh, to be honest with you, because I know this guy is a bullshitter. Uh, I am not convinced that the math he uh, provides here is actually accurate. And in fact, many people I'll show you later, uh, pointed out in comments that there are serious, serious flaws with what this guy is assuming. So anyway. Uh, but th th this guy's big thing, though, is that he says that he found a way to disprove the greenhouse theory. That's a bold claim. Uh, where's your Nobel Prize for that work? I mean, if you're, you know, if you're so convinced that your math equations are correct and, you know, everything is in order, um, why don't you you know, get a move on a little bit here. Why don't you publish it or something? You know, show it to the world. Ah, but they don't do that because you see the, there is a conspiracy. There's a conspiracy. The, the real scientists, they don't want people like him to present their science because, you know, it contradicts the narrative or whatever. And also this, the real scientists are getting paid so we can't trust them. I've heard that argument. It's fucking retarded trust me anyway so now we're done with this for now and so the next thing i want to show you just let me switch here just one moment